G'day everyone, my name's Mr. Stavetic and welcome to a brand new series of Motorsport Manager brought to you by Sega and PlaySport Games. Now, I know what you're thinking, Steve, you're a little bit late on the November 3rd dateline, but you know what, I'm only just getting back into this, so let's get started. Okay, so we're not going to bother with any tutorials. I've played this for a little bit, so life should be good there. We're going to go with medium session lengths, which should give us 30 to 40 laps on average. Um, US dollars, because I'm a pleb and hate the pound. Day, day, month, month, year, 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 because it makes sense. And uh, yeah, we'll throw in some autosave as well. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get our motorsport team manager put in here so Stephen Deco just going to throw in some random dates here but I will put my year of birth 1985 we're from Australia Australasia apparently but we're definitely Australian we're going to be Hmm. Let's go and ex-engineer. So, uh, our background in engineering, apparently I'm a 31-year-old engineer, master engineer, apparently. I must have been really good at what I did in the past life. Um, you can help to trim down the time it takes to design parts for the car, which takes around eight days on average. So we get minus one day on all our design times, which is good. I'm a pasty fella. That's about right for my hair. I am a soulless ginger. That's about right for my beard, if you ever see me in public. And that's about right for my glasses. Right. Okay. We're going to start off in the European Racing Series. This is going to be a... Uh, we started from the bottom, now we're here kind of journey. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to take it along with me. Right. So, we're jumping into the European Racing Series. Let's get started. So, I've played this game now for about 11 hours. I've played through one season on my own with Eastwood Motorsport, which is a pretty good team to start with. Uh, especially if you're new to the game, they've got the money, they've, you know, they, they allow you to see a lot more of the features. But, we're going to go for a bit of a challenge here. We're going to go with a plucky Aussie underdog. Your team and the red and the white Predator Racing Group. Predator may be a young team, but what they lack in experience, they make up for in pluck. A shoestring budget forces everyone to muck in, as a gradually nurtured and fantastic team rapport. A small team with great potential. All right, so we'll be running with Predator this uh, this season. The idea is to get us from uh, perhaps the worst team in the European Racing Series all the way through to uh, the game's equivalent of the F1 series. We've got low expectations. We're, we're really not expected to finish well, around about 11th. Um, we've got about $250,000 worth of budget to play with. So uh, it's all about making money from here on in. Now... For those of you who haven't played Motorsport Manager before, it's very much like Football Manager. It is a sim game. We're not going to be doing any of the actual driving. The AI will handle that for us. Okay. Uh, we can see over here we've got our drivers here. We've got Mr. Will Evans from Australia. He's a bit shit. 27 years old, so he's uh, getting up there in years for a race car driver. He's got... Sh horrible braking. His quarter cornering is uh, mediocre at best. He's not smooth at all, so he's going to bump up that tire degradation. Can't overtake worth a damn. He's not consistent at all. He's hardly adaptable. His fitness is god awful. He doesn't give good feedback, and feedback is important. And he's not very focused at all. Compared with the Argentinian Santa Ana, Santa Ana is. Mediocre, but has the ability to get better. So she's a uh, two and a bit star driver at the moment. She's got a potential to be a three star, uh, three star driver um, eventually. She's 23 years old. Inez Santa Ana, 10 braking, five cornering. So cornering's her weak point. She's a bit, fair bit more smoother than old Will over there. Better overtaker, much more consistent. 
a little bit more adaptable, a little bit more fitter. Yeah, okay on the feedback, and she's a fair bit more focused as well. We've got her for 34 months at a pretty cheap rate. Will we've got for 22. What am I going to do with Will? Mate, I'm sorry, you know, you, you're, you're the Australian, you're the man, but... You're a bit shit. I guess the idea is is that we want to get up and running as quickly as possible. We want to be able to uh, make money. I mean, we've only got 250 grand in the bank. That's not even going to be enough to uh, start designing new engines or anything like that. So uh, we're going to have to see what we can do. Let's have a look at our mail, though. So, part of the Predator Racing Group. Tommy's going to keep us up to date on everything. Yep. Inez Santa Ana, she uh, knows where he used to be a chief engineer. Uh, she gets on really well with Will. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, he's gonna go. Uh, you and Santa Ana get on okay, but I'm gonna be working my socks off to prove to you that I'm a much better driver. Are you gonna get any better at all? Not really. And your overtakings? Shite. Why is that getting... Oh, your action of... Uh, Christ almighty. Spent a long time with your mechanic, but your mechanic's not that good either. <sighs> mate. Mate. We'll get back to this in a moment. Uh, this is our lead designer, Charlotte Williams. So, she wants us to do some work on the suspension. Because apparently everything's a bit shite in our car. This is our scout, Aaron Burgess. So, Inez is not one of the best drivers in the series. Her potential is good, though, and given the chance to improve. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Her strength is her consistency, but she has a hard time cornering. Okay. So, they predict her to come 19th out of 20. <laughs> and Will, now we know uh, Will's a bit shite. Predicted in the season position 20th. Oh. And then we got our reserve driver, Katie. She doesn't have a huge amount of potential. Great. Okay. Darren Luff, team owner. Hi, Stephen. Started a new season, so we need to clarify how well you think the team is going to do. I'm going to have to say 10th. At least get a bit of money in. It's reasonable. We probably won't lose our jobs, which will be great. Let's have a look at the car. Oh, a car is shit. Oh, that's horrible. Alright, we're going to need to start improving parts pretty much straight away. Uh, now, in the European Racing Series, part of the rules are... Uh, we don't get to design our own front wing, that's a spec part. We don't get to design a rear wing, that's a spec part. We can improve the reliability on them, but that's about it. Why... Oh, man. Okay, we've got five engineers each side. It's just getting better and better, isn't it, boys? And girls. Performance one and... Oh, God. Um... Where do we start? We're going to need to get these, uh... Engines sorted. Get some performance out of these. The reliability, uh, like, our suspension reliability is really, really good. Um... But our performance is just god-awful. Yeah, we're going to have to do it this way. Get that performance up three hours before the race. Jesus. Okay. That'll be fun. Alright. Get that going. Get us in there with a chance. This is our facility, so we get a level 1 design center, a level 1 factory. This is why we have bugger all staff. To upgrade our factory to get some staff, it's going to be $8 million. Oh, goody. Well. Okay. This is our team. So, our lead designer is only going to get better with age. Our mechanics have a chance of getting better. Will, you don't have much of a chance of getting better. Neither do you, Kate. 
You're at potential. So we probably need to look at letting these two go. We've got a small fan base, $77 million worth of team worth. Okay, let's scout some drivers. So, I want to look for the 16 to 22 range. We're going to look for people who aren't part of a team. So we're going, actually, let's scout in the 22 to 28 range. We'll have a look at Axel from France. Lissandro Cruz from, uh, I think that's Venezuela. And Lorenzo Moreno. We'll go the fantastic Finn here. Mila Lathanen. My Finnish pronunciation isn't that great, and uh, girlfriend's going to be a bit mad at me for that. Okay, there's our finances. So he's going to be paying us $1.5 million per race. We've got 20 million, uh, 20,000 coming out of sponsors, so getting some more sponsors is uh, going to be appropriate. We're going to throw all the money we can into next year's car. Um, I think we have... How many races do we have in a season? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten races in the season. So... That's $10 million towards a new car. It's going to be better than a kick in the head, and it's probably going to cost us more than $10 million. But the more we throw it away, the better it's going to be. Okay, we got some sponsorship offers. Let's see what we got. So we got slot 5. So this is going to be right here, just about there on the car, I think. Let's have a look. Channel All Media. It's going to pay us $50,000 a race over 12 races if we get 8th or above, which might be unlikely. But that is... 12 fives is 60. That's $6 million on offer. One Chai industry, Industries, on the other hand, 9th or above, which is a little bit more obtainable. It's going to give us $750,000 up front, and if we get 9th or above, over 8 races, that's 450000 So, that's $3.6 million, $4.35 million. I think we're going to wait on sponsors for a little bit. Give that a little bit of a wait. And then we've got, uh, so these guys will give us rate bo race bonuses depending on where we place. Rogers and Ailes wants us to come 16th or above. Calm Blanco, they'll just pay us for being on our car. They're from Argentina, and they give us uh, $20,000 per race. Which is probably where our 250000 has come from. Maxwell's Beer, six races, 150000 so that's 900,000 over time. We may not get better than that, to be honest, but uh, we'll let some time pass. As you can see, there we are. We're placed seventh overall. That's going to change. And I want to skip. About eight days ahead. Okay, we've got an interview request. So we're the new team principal. People are pretty excited about that. Uh, let's see. So uh, Predator Racing Group have unveiled their new team principal, and he's a total newcomer to the world of motorsport management. Stephen Deco is taking control of the team starting right now. Team Chairman Darren Love told a pre packed press room. I'm sure that Stephen given his history as a former lean designer, will give us an edge when we're developing new parts for the car, said Luff. It's certainly an interesting move from Predator Racing Group to appoint such an inexperienced manager. Only time will tell whether or not the decision pays off. Well, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be a long couple of seasons. Uh, Jar, is he going to retire? Well, he's from Garuda Racing, so we don't care. 
The news that Stephen Decoe, taking the reins of Predator Racing Group, has reverberated around the paddock and fans' reaction to the appointment has been mixed. Predator Racing Group's loyal followers have flocked to social media to share their reactions. I'm going to give Stephen Decoe the benefit of the doubt. It could be a great appointment, said one of the more positive responses. Is Decoe really good enough to manage our team, asked another fan. Thoughts are now turning to the next race at Black Sea, where Decoe's medal will be tested for the first time. <clears throat> All right, and now we've got our interview here. Congratulations on joining Predator Racing Group. Are you interested in doing an interview? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we're going to accept it. Uh, you certainly picked up a tough, ta a tough task for your first job. Are you expecting to pick up many points at all this season? Um, we're going to surprise a few people this year. I'm quietly confident that we'll manage a few decent finishes. It'll be a struggle, there's no denying it, but winning a few points would be wonderful make such a difference to our budget. If I was a pragmatist, it'd be C. I'm going to go B. Boost the morale a little bit. Ina Santa Ana is seen by the fans as your top driver. Would you agree with that, or would you say that William Evans is better? Um, yeah, she's the better driver. Will, you're getting a sack, mate. In the Motor Racing Magazine season preview, I wrote that you're expected to finish 10th in the team's championship. Is that accurate, or do you think you can do any better? Um, the prediction seems fair, but I'm hoping that we're going to surprise you. Oh, market, marketability went up a little bit there. Um, the fans should know that they're in safe hands with me. We're going to push the car to its limits. Okay, it's a pretty shit car. Alright, let's keep going. We'll get up to the first race in this episode, and um, it's just going to go from there. We got some sponsor offers, so let's have a look at that before the race. Uh, report in the Black Sea, so it's a 30 lap race, which is what we expected. 2.6 miles, lap record is 121.391. There's likely to be some rain during the race. It's a high-speed circuit. Suit cars with strong engines. Tire compounds are soft and super soft. What's the weather looking like? Race is going to be fairly sunny, which is good. Brace of track. Telemetry center. <laughs> That's probably out of our budget right now. I'll look at it next season, Charlotte. And there's that. Now we've got some sponsors here. We've got two offers for the front. So, not Lafay. Second or above. <laughs> uh, no. Two offers on the... Uh, we're just going to pay you. So, four races. Under... Care about much for muchness, but I think I'm going to take Maxwell's beard. There you go. Welcome to the team. We got two offers here. I think we got to go with Wanchai, just for a bit more money in the bank. Let us work on developing a new part. Speaking of which, let's get to designing a new part. We know our suspension's lagging behind. We're going to throw all our money into that. That's a risky part here. So when you're looking at these part components, we've got two pluses, which is fantastic. Max speed, uh, medium speed corners, so we're going to get plus 25 to our maximum available. Uh, medium speed corners are going to get plus 15 improvements all overall. But if we select this, we could break some rules. Now, we don't want to do that. We really can't afford the fines or loss of points right now. So... Get rid of that. We generate this here, which is wonderful. And I think we're going to take medium speed corners plus 20, which is going to give us a fair bit more performance out of our... Um, it's going to cost us $800,000. Yeah, let's do it. Confirm that. Get that done. Right. Okay, so we're at the point where we start traveling to the Black Sea. I am going to leave it here. 
everybody thank you very much for joining me if you like it please let us know um if you actually want to see some more like favorite subscribe leave a comment do all those wonderful things that all those youtubers ask you to do and we'll be back next race with the debut of Inez Santa Ana and soon to be fired Willie Evans. Talk to you next time.